Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's go a little easy on ourselves and solve the problem length of last word. If you're a beginner, I would recommend solving this problem and maybe you can try solving it by yourself and then compare your solution with mine later in the video. We are given a string S consisting of some words and these words are separated by some spaces. Among all of these words in the input string, we just want to return what is the length of the last word that occurs in the string. And we're guaranteed that there's going to be at least one word inside of the string. So let's take a look at a example. The first example, we have the first word hello separated uh, with a single space from the next word world. And then that's kind of the end of the string. So what's the length of the last word? Well, the last word is here, world. Its length is five, so we can return five. The second example is a little bit more interesting. So in this case, we have some leading spaces, multiple leading spaces. We have a word, then another space, another word, and then a few extra spaces, another word, a few extra spaces again, another word, one space, and then this is actually the last word, but even after the last word, there are some extra spaces. So in this case, moon's the last word, its length is four, so we can return four. This is about as interesting of an example as we can really come up with. There won't be any you know, other edge cases for this problem, right? All we could be given is a string uh, with some spaces in it, right? So there's many ways to solve this problem. You can kind of just iterate uh, character by character. Every time we get a space, you know, just ignore it. Every time we get a character, keep track of whatever the length of the current word is. So for example, we see the first character F, that's one, the next character L, so then the length is two, the third character Y, so the length is three, and then we get to a space. When we get to a space, we basically want to reset the length because the next word, you know, is going to start back at zero. So we'll set, reset this back to zero, get to the next character M, increment this by one, the second character E, set this to two, and then again, have a space, so reset it back to zero, and then kind of just iterate through that, and then whatever the length of the last word was, we could end up returning that. A slightly easier way you might think of is why do we even have to start at the beginning anyway? Why iterate through the entire array? It's kind of a waste of time. Why not actually just start at the end and then get the length of the first word starting from the end? And that's kind of how I'm gonna do it. It's more efficient and I think it's a little bit easier to code. So what we're gonna be doing is, since we could have some leading white spaces, right? The first phase of the algorithm is just gonna be eliminating these leading white spaces spaces right so every time so basically while we see a space character we're going to increment our pointer i and then keep shifting it until we finally get to the non space character in this case that's going to be at this word n and then the second phase of the algorithm is basically going to be counting how many consecutive characters that we see before we either reach the end of the string or before we reach a space character so basically increment the length until we see a space or reach the end of the string. In this case, we'll see N, O, O, M. Our length will be four. Then we'll see a space character and then exit our while loop. So then the second phase of the algorithm will be completed and we have the result that we want to return. And then we can go ahead and return that result. Now, the time complexity, we might potentially have to iterate through the entire string if we have, you know, just a single word in the string. So the time complexity is going to be big of n. There's no extra memory needed. Yes, we have a variable that's keeping track of the length, but it's just a single variable, nothing more. So the memory complexity is big O of one. So that's the solution we're going to be coding. So let's jump into that now. Okay, so before we actually jump into that first phase of the algorithm, let's initialize a couple pointers that we're going to be keeping track of. One is going to be i, as I mentioned, and another is going to be length. And i is initially going to be set to the end of the string, right? Because we're going to be starting at the end. So we'll take the length minus one. That's the index of the last character. And our length initially is just going to be set to zero. So first phase of the algorithm is eliminating the leading white spaces starting from the end. So while the character at index i is equal to a white space, uh, we're going to be shifting our pointer. We're not going to be incrementing it. We're going to be decrementing it because remember, we're starting all the way at the end and then working our way towards the beginning. So that's the first phase of the algorithm. Next phase is going to actually be counting the characters, right? Actually determining the length. So now our I character is going to be at the first, you know, basically at some word. 
And we want to make sure i is in bounds, right? If we reach the end of the string, we can, of course, uh, exit this loop. So while i is greater than or equal to zero, and while the character at index i is not a space, right? Because we want to get the length of the word. If we ever get to a space character, we can safely exit this loop. So while we see an actual character, we can go ahead and increment the length by one. And once we're done with that, uh, we know we have the length of the last word. So then just return that length. I think this is a pretty good problem for a beginner, especially because there's definitely multiple ways to do this function. You can even use built-in functions like taking S and then splitting the words, but I feel like that's a little bit cheating and that definitely makes things a little bit too easy for us. Oh, uh, one thing I just realized, uh, don't forget, like me, to actually increment your pointer because, or in this case, decrement the pointer because you don't want to get stuck in an infinite loop. So, of course, I make that mistake when I'm solving an easy problem. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the entire code. On the left, you can see it's, you know, this overall time, Galaxy, this is as, as efficient as you can get. It is just, you know, on leak code for some reason, it just says it's somewhat slow, but that's not super important. I do hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you came up with a different solution. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe. It really supports the channel a lot. Consider checking out my Patreon where you can further support the channel and hopefully I'll see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.